you. What I wanted to show you is if you can see it, I have a little piece of neochrome wire. It's uncoated. I'm going to show you how to coat this if you don't have coated wire. So you take some uh, chimney cement or fire cement. It's chimney cement in the U.S. because we like to do things differently. So then you add a little bit of water and you take the popsicle stick. And then what you do, you get a paper towel so I don't make a mess of the table. Uh, what you do is you go ahead and uh, you you want this stuff thick enough. Let me make it a little bit thicker. A little bit more. A lot of people don't realize that that uh, as long as you don't have the chimney cement too hot, you can add water to it and it reconstitutes, which is kind of cool. Is my first heater barrel I made. Went looking for fire cement, and there is none. It's all chimney cement here, so. Uh, but once I found it, then I had a heck of a time making my extruder because I had to deal with this really hard clay stuff. Well, really hard. It's actually cement. But so anyway, it's now a runny, goopy, mud type thing. And what you do is you kind of just uh, you get a big, big slob of it. You kind of just rub it on your wire. Here, get a big gob. Kind of just rub. Get it so that uh, it's in there. And this might take a couple tries, but it will will stick on the uh, neochrome. And you can use a regular lighter. I'm I'm just using a torch because that's what I use. I have. You just real quickly flame it, and then uh, go over it one more time. What you're what you're doing is you're providing a coating, and this coating can get a lot hotter than uh, than the uh, even the cloth coating. Uh, the uh, cloth coating may still be easier for some people that just don't want to deal with this stuff. And I understand. Okay. So we go ahead. We go. Right there. So now we have the wire mostly coated. Let me go ahead and do one more coating here. I'm gonna check it to make sure there's no shiny surface. This is about four or five minutes worth of work. And it pays off because you get a heater barrel that heats up faster because you have less uh, cement in between your extruder and your uh, heating element. Okay, so now let me go ahead and uh, find my bolt here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, start uh, wrapping this around. And here's the beauty of this, I'm wrapping it back over itself. forth so I don't have to go all over spread that area it's not perfect some some of the stuff's gonna fall off but um, that's fine then uh, before I, I do an ohm test I'm gonna go ahead and um, put a little bit on here uh, just around the ends um, So what you, what you see is uh, have everything touching, 
So this is about 6 ohms uh, before. Okay, so got the, the fire cement or chimney cement there. And I'm going to go ahead and oh, if I can do this without dropping it. Okay. I'll go ahead and flame it real quick. So a lighter works too. It's just as just just gets a little hotter. This gets about 600 degrees C. Okay. And give that a minute to cool, and then I'll run my own meter across it. Okay. Oh. Keep on dropping it. The wire's cold, the metal's hot. Okay, and then... Okay, so... Wow, that's a lot of variation. But, um... Let me see if I can... Oh, okay. There we go. Let me go one up so it's more reliable. Okay, about seven to eight. Seven to eight to nine ohms. Uh, probably be better if, uh, if if I had a clean connection on the end. And let me, let me see if I can. Might have gone too far. There we go. Okay, about seven seven to eight ohms, which. The neochrome wire is wrapped around each other, and uh, it has cement on the wire from when I ran it through uh, this slush, like this, just kind of rubbing it through, having it go through, and then uh, just flashing it real quick with a flame, and it gives it a coating. So for those that uh, don't want to deal with the normal way of putting an extruder on with fire cement, which is really painful, this is another way to do it.